High on the Pennine Range, 12 miles southwest of Huddersfield, is the home Moss television station, the highest television station in the British Isles, which radiates the BBC's television and domestic sound services to an audience of over 13 million people. Here on the lonely moor, passing motorists pause to look at the squat stone building dwarfed by the 750 foot high mast and then drive on their way. On the 24th of June 1961, however, Home Mosque was to have an open day and invitations to all members of the public who wished to see the station were broadcast regularly during the preceding week. At the station, plans were being made for directing the campaign and the grazing sheep found they no longer had the moors to themselves. Along the northwest stay lane, a strange cortege was seen to end its way. Car parks were being marked out. Telephones and traffic lights were set up by our own highly skilled experts and important supplies were being delivered. Complicated equipment required inspection and final adjustment. Everything had to be checked over, important measurements taken. Nothing was too much trouble for our visitors' convenience. Outside and inside, everyone was hard at work. Well, nearly everyone. A well-earned rest, but not for long. The final arrangements were now being made. The day arrived, fine and bright, with a strong breeze. The house flag was flying, and by 10 o'clock, a steady trickle of cars was arriving. The commissioner, borrowed from Leeds for the occasion, was at his post and as the entrance was approached, a recorded greeting by our own announcer and radio personality greeted our visit. I'm afraid we never saw the results of a visit from a BBC television news cameraman. An expectant audience sat in the control room later in the evening and watched the news about such minor personalities as Khrushchev and Kennedy but of the event of the day, not a mention. The refreshment stalls were being kept busy and reinforcements arrived to help during the afternoon. The trickle of cars had grown to a steady flow, bringing experts and not so experts. A queue began to form as the rate of passage through the station reached its maximum possible of about 1,000 an hour and still they came.
About four o'clock, the traffic was reaching its peak. It looked at one time as though there might be a complete blockage, and cars were held on the road as far as the eye could see. The police, however, got things moving again. Back at the station, the queue of people are now waiting to enter the building numbered several hundred, and the mobile ice cream stall was doing a roaring trade. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before your very eyes, positively the last performance today, Will puts on a solo act for the benefit of the visitors. Shortly before nine o'clock, the last visitors entered the station. A total just short of 8,000 people had passed through the doors. Open day was over. The signs were dismantled, the flag hauled down, the car parks emptied, and once more silence descended at Doppert Moss.